from a cold and melty Russia to grey London to cold Stockholm to cold and white Nürburgring. This is how it looks like right now. I remember one of the first Boosted Boris videos last year I made a joke. You know, they have a saying, it would be a cold day in hell before blah blah blah. And yeah, this is one of those cold days. And you can actually rename the green hell into white hell if we're doing puns today. And check out this awesome stairs we have, which is stickered the same, in the same pattern as our cars. You know, there's actually a funny thing. Uh, a lot of people are asking me through the whole year or telling me like, hey, you know, I'll be at the Nürburgring next week, which is like somewhere in March. Uh, or not, not even March, even worse, in January. Which is kind of funny, they do not realize that Nürburgring is kind of closed because of weather conditions. I mean, there are a lot of people who crash in dry conditions, let alone in wet conditions, let alone in snowy cold conditions. So I just had breakfast at this place, Schillinger. Usually, usually I go across the street to Lidl, or Lidl, how most people like to say it, to get some breakfast. And I only go to that place on Sunday because obviously in Germany and the rest of Europe you cannot get any food or anything on a Sunday. This awesome guy, Richard here, he works at Rent for Ring. Uh, yeah, Rent for Ring. Yes. Saying that correctly. Too many uh, places at Nürburgring who have the similar name, so I have to really think before I say something. So if you're going to rent out Awesome Swift at their place, he'll be the one instructing you, giving you some theory of briefing, right? Yeah, yeah sure. See ya. Good to meet you, sir. See ya. Cheers. Bye. Bye. So I've arrived at the Nürburgring, you can see it behind me. Got a quick meeting with the uh, Nürburgring staff about the stuff that we're going to do in the 2016. I hope to tell you more details about that. After that I'm going to give a quick visit to Daniel and his office. Oh look at that, the paddock shop has some interesting car inside. So I just had a very nice meeting with the guys from Nürburgring. I'll be telling you more about it when the time comes. And right now I just want to visit Daniel and Moritz who have their office space also at this place. So let's have a look what they're up to. Cosmos wheels. Hello guys. Hello. How's it going? Good, yeah. Yeah, fine. You're about to leave so I see. Yeah. Okay. I'll just go through a quick look to show the guys about the wheels that you're dealing yeah sure so what's what's what what's the most popular thing oh this i especially one. like this one sorry moritz <laughs> <laughs> this is no, actually no. our 206r uh, with a special color um, which is black chrome the lighter it gets the darker it seems to be so that's the reason why we call it black chrome. It's good that I'm making this video, not Boosted Boris. You will be too drunk to understand what you're talking about. <laughs> the lighter it gets, the darker it is. Okay. <laughs> cool stuff. Uh, yeah, it's how it works with our Cosmos Racing Cactus. Yeah. Uh, where can they order it? You can order it uh, online in our shop, which is uh, cosmos-wheels.com. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, their office is based like really at the track. Isn't it annoying like when you're working and you hear all the race cars yeah. passing by? <laughs> First world problems. Stickers, more t-shirts. Oh, a strap. Yes. Yeah, sock. This is basically this is the setup. Could you please take away <laughs> take off this? The setup I was intending to use in the first place, but unfortunately I didn't get the right microphone for it. And this is the setup I'm using for the Boosted Boris videos. God damn it! Russian engineering sucks. So, um, yeah. Could you please push on the on button? Sure. No, it's not. Perfect. And then it goes like this. And then just stay stable. 
actually, after having filmed with my phone, oh, could you please take it away from me? After having filmed with my phone for the co last couple of days, I realized that the quality is really good, and especially GoPro performs like it just doesn't perform in low light conditions. While with the phone, I also can turn on the flashlight. So I decided that my next, um, the next gear I will be using will be just my phone with this stabilizer. I'll be using for my phone and external microphone. So I think that should work right. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I went through the stuff more than enough. I will show you some of it later. This is the 2016 boosted Boris hat. I will show you the 2015 version, which is almost dead right now, so it would just be going into museum. And stick with me. We, I'm going to join the guys. We will we'll go to their warehouse now, and after that, I'll tell you some more about the plans for 2016 and why we have been visiting speed hunters and car throttle and so on. Oh, come on! <laughs> Horsepower. Oh my god! Oh my god! So that was some very nice ride we just had in this Renault Megane RS driven by our pilot Ice Cold Moritz. So let's have a look inside at the Cosmos Warehouse. I think they have a lot of wheels. What's happening guys? Shipping some stuff? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, unfortunately, or fortunately, they're all packed, so yeah. I, I, you've seen those wheels in the office anyway. So let's have a look at the cars that are parked here because those guys are sharing the same place with Rent for Ring. So obviously, a lot of Rent for Ring Swifts that I was. Thank you for the sound, guys. <laughs> That's a very coincidentally because, uh, as you remember, I just had breakfast with the guy, Richard, who works at Rent Ring, and I mentioned the Swifts. And yeah, here they are. Awesome Swifts, all the color you want. And actually, some real cars. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You'll be seeing a lot of those during the year at Nordschleife. And I should end the video because the guys, I think they don't like that I'm making a video because they're making such an awful sound. I just hope you can hear me, really. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? That was Julia. And she drives a GTR. Yes. Why? <laughs> because, because she's she can. Working. <laughs> <laughs> because she's working for Nissan. Because race car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so like I told you earlier, I had two meetings today. One was with the management of Nürburgring and the second one with the management of Drift Park Nürburgring. Drift Park Nürburgring, is there a such thing? Yes, well, it's like a driver safety training, but they're gonna to convert it probably in the future to a drift park And this is where I'm currently at So This is a drift park Unfortunately, the gates are closed now, so I'm a bit late to show you the whole facility But I will be doing that later next week. We've agreed on making a promotional video for the drift park and the whole thing the whole thing promotional video What are you talking about? Probably, you may have guessed already, the reason why I went to Car Trottle in London, Speed Hunters in Stockholm, and I talked to a lot of people is because we're planning to do something great here, and namely the CT Meet number two. For those who have been following me as Boosted Boris, who've been following Car Trottle, they know that there has been a CT Meet or Car Trottle meeting at the Nürburgring, and we've decided to host a second edition, but do it slightly bigger slightly so we're going to take this whole thing here and turn it in 
yeah, I don't want to sound cliche, but probably heaven in green hell. I'm going to drive back with this awesome E36 320 with smashed fender, which is running on gas actually. Yeah, I'm not a real petrol head who lives at Nürburgring. Going to drive back to the uh, to ring garage. I am at the Nürburgring, keep saying that because I've been saying that for the last couple of days that I'm going back to the Nürburgring. Going back to ring garage, see you there. So I guess you wanted to see something more of the cars. I have something special for you. Which is the 991 Carrera. Which was last year a rental car, but it's going to be a race car. And we're going to participate with the 24 hour race this year. So what happened so far with the car? <laughs> He's a bit shy, he will get yeah, over it. <laughs> It's yellow and it has so much yellow. So much yellow. Okay, subscribe for more yellow updates on this car.